And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. That was written in Luke 21 verses 25 and 26. And in the book of Enoch chapter 1 is written, And the watchers shall quake, and great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of the earth. I care to talk about a fine line in this video, which I may make a two-part video, depending on the time available. That has to do with the externalization of hierarchy that is used by the enemy to create fear and the saints of God who reveal truth who are given authority who don't project or don't create fear in the body. Now this is an example of something that the enemy uses to create fear and it's an article that is fairly recent September 11th 2013 says on it talks about how the National Security Agency shares intelligence with Israel secret deal places no legal limits on use of data by Israelis only official US government communications protected agency insists it complies with rules governing privacy. Read the NSA in Israelis Memorandum of Understanding. And I'll leave a link for this under the video so you can read through that. And there's just information upon information upon information if you do research on the article and go to see what the Guardian is all about and all that but I mean this is this is something that is put out by the enemy that doesn't offer any reasonable solutions or explanations for things and the reason why I use this as an example is because I have been distributing information about the NSA and Israel together. So this is something that uh, can be compared because the information that I deliver creates fear in the enemy, not in the body. These are two papers that I've talked about before that I started distributing in Indianapolis and then in the Denver Colorado area and now I have been distributing them in Lincoln Nebraska and this one here talks about NSA and some other things and this one talks about what has been called Israel so we can compare what I'm saying to what these fear mongers are saying in order to scare people. There's not a ton of information to have to go through in, in these writings, but you know, if you do research on these other things that is put out in the newspapers you can just go and go and go and go and go and you know it can be exhausting so I'm gonna just go ahead and read this one to you the first one I'll read is the about the NSA it's headed the National Security Agency founded by a Jesuit shill for child molesting voyeurs and I have a picture of the founder Harry Truman here. I have a picture of an employee of theirs who 
used NSA surveillance to find and molest children. Michael Aquino. This is the Temple of Set, a cult that was developed by Michael Aquino. And this is IHS, Isis, Horus, and Set. This is IHS, Jesuit, Catholic logo that they use. The 33rd U.S. President and 33rd Degree Freemason Harry S. Truman formed the NSA slash Money for Surveillance scam in 1952. He was partial to a special interest religious cult that agreed with making forced customers pay for surveillance through tax law. So as a result, tra taxpayers were charged tax money for having surveillance employees survey taxpayers and their children, whether they wanted it or not. And NSA surveillance is how religious cult pedophiles ended up finding child victims to rape at the expense of taxpayers. You see, Lilith Aquino, a Roman Catholic, and her husband, Michael Aquino, who NSA employed, was a union made in state church, which state church is not the body of Christ, and Michael Aquino did surveillance on children before he molested and killed them. So he was paid indirectly by taxpayers to stalk, molest, and murder children through the National Security Agency, which I'm putting out of business. A more correct name for the NSA might be the Roman Catholic Pedophile Security Agency, because NSA employees work security for the for those religious child molesters through partial law. And Michael Aquino's Temple of Set that he founded was the first openly satanic cult in the U.S. to be given a so-called non-profit status by a certain corrupt government. So not only was he paid for his services by the NSA, but he was also awarded a special satanic cult religious status for his particular child molesting religion. And Jesuits also molest children, but they're not as open as Aquino about being involved in Satanism. Did you ever wonder why so many little boys have been sexually molested by Jesuit priests? It's because those kind of priests are reprobate bastards to God, which even exceed the wickedness of the common reprobate. Romans 127, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Now, Jesuits are a certain male religious order of the Roman Catholic counterfeit church. And I call it counterfeit church because the real church is the body of Christ. And no one goes to the real body of Christ on Sunday just to leave for six days and repeat. Furthermore, no one comes to Christ unless the Father draws them. I should know I was drawn and I'm in the body of Christ, the church. It's a spiritual house made without hands. So when you see that Jesuit logo of a sun with a cross in it, just remember that Sunday was named after the sun. S-U-N, not the sun. S-O-N. And the body of Christ is justified by God and not Emperor Constantine's vision of a cross perched on the sun. 1 Peter 2, verses 3 to 7. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone. Elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. 
Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made, the head of the corner. Masons are the builders who use what they call a cornerstone in the corner of their buildings. And this is how the chief cornerstone is made a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense to them which stumble at the word. Moreover, the chief cornerstone, slash Christ, is the head of the church. And I don't put my head in the corner of a building just to keep masons in business for some Catholic mafia labor union. Capiche? So let the double-minded Pope know that the real powers that be are ministers of God. And there is therefore no such thing as a separation of church and state law for the real body of Christ. Judgment begins in the spiritual house of God made without hands. And that is exactly where the saints judge the world from. Romans 13 verses 1 to 4. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Do not support Catholic religion, and this by ordinance of the living God through a real minister. Signed, St. Michael, a terror to the evil. Now, I'm going to read the other one in another video. I'll do a part two on this, but... I have forced investigations on me because Father has had me do that. I have had cops, uh, you know, come to me because they were forced to. And then later on, I have had cops come back to me, detectives, uh, even Secret Service once. And... I've had detectives come back to me or people come back to me after the fact and talk to me about these things. And in fact, I have had one detective come back trembling over the information that has been given. What, what are these people to do? What are they going to do? You know, if you believe what's written in Daniel about how the saints take the kingdom, you know, I do. I see it. I know what Father told me. And, you know, these other things where, you know, you got these Alex Jones types and these people that just, they just throw out all this information. Look at what they're doing to us now. You know, and it just goes on and on and on. These fear mongers. You know, what, what good does that do? You don't see me doing videos and putting information out that, you know, is going to be against the body. God raised me up to this. I don't have any ego in uh, telling you that he raised me up to this. Uh, I'm not about status or personal image. I'm about freeing the children. I'm tired of seeing children being exploited, raped, murdered, and just, just abused by law perverts. So... I'm going to end it here and do part two. Thank you.